It's beer and food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Now Ryan has been to China and he's sent me some fantastic Chinese products and also a lovely letter about being really impressed by the unique and um, great Chinese craft beers out there from IPAs, Gozes, wheat beers, German style box, the lot, they're, they're all out there. Now I've never been to China personally, um, I've never been to the, the Far East, I'd love to go to places like Thailand, Japan, all these other wonderful countries just to experience some of the food, some of the beer and just some of the culture really. But in my little kind of house in Wales I'm able to show you without even going there a little bit of China and that is uh, McKellar has a bar in Shanghai and this is their beer called I Want to See You. It's a grapefruit Shilziang Tea Sour IPA. Uh, bum, 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 bum. The ABV on the beer, I'm not sure if it's even... Oh, it's 4%. 4% ABV, ABV on this one. And we have some walkers, or lays everywhere else. Hot and sour, lemon braised, chicken feet flavoured crisps. And if you think the word chicken feet isn't enough, they've actually put a chicken's foot on this bag of crisps. And of course, it's just flavour. But culturally, in China, chicken's feet must be a massive thing. They must really like chicken's feet. Otherwise, they wouldn't put them on a bag of Walker's crisps, would they? So there's a look at the crisps. I am going to get the beer now out into a glass and see what we get. I'm going to thank Ryan very much for sending me this really interesting Combination of beer, a tea sour IPA, and some chicken feet crisps. So, you can hear that hiss and fizz. These bits, look at the bits in this beer. There's loads and loads and loads of interesting kind of floaty bits in this beer. It looks like what pink grapefruit, doesn't it? There's probably bits of grapefruit in this beer then. That looks fantastic. It really does. Hazy. It almost looks like a glass of grapefruit juice. It smells very much of tea. And lots of pink grapefruit. I'm smelling the beer, but I'm also listening to the beer. If I can hold that up, wherever the microphone is on an iPhone. I'll just move it about a bit. You can hear the beer hissing and fizzing in the glass. But the amount of bits of grapefruit or tea in this beer is just fantastic. Look at it. it. It looks like nothing I've ever seen before in my life when it comes to beer. I've drank nearly 10,000 beers. Let's get in. Cheers everybody. Oh, that's the most that's the most interesting beer I've ever drank in my life. It tastes like cold tea. It's kind of like musty. Musty and musty and even more musty, like licking a book, licking an old dusty bookshelf. But in a very good way. In a very interesting good way.
I was expecting to get more of the pink grapefruit than the tea. But to be honest with you, it's a great combination of both flavours. It's a really good balance of both flavours. You get lots of grapefruit over here, but then it finishes the tea. The kind of like bitter tea flavours come through. The mustiness of the tea comes through and it kind of almost overpowers the pink grapefruit. And if you've tried pink grapefruit before, you will know that there's not a lot of things in life that's going to overpower a pink grapefruit. That's a really interesting beer. A really interesting beer. Just for the bits in it, look at it. My first time, well, I've had, I've had Ting Tao, I've had Ting Tao Lager, which is sold all over the UK. I might have had a couple of other Chinese beers over the years, but th this is definitely the most interesting Chinese beer I've ever had in my life. I quite like it. It's really refreshing. Really refreshing and really drinkable. Now, what's the bag size on this? They, they don't, it feels like a, like a 50, oh, a set, there we are, 70 grams. A 70 gram bag of crisps. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm expecting really with chicken feet. I'm getting lots of lemon. Yeah, lots of lemon and almost like a bacon general kind of chicken crisp flavour. They smell quite good. Let's get in. Cheers. Oh, they're really interesting. Mmm, they're hot. They're spicy. They've got that kind of classic British chicken crisp flavour there. But at the same time, there's a really big, spicy kick to these. Oh. They're really good. Lots of lemon. Lots of sour lemon. Lots of spice. And then your base kind of chicken stock. That kind of basic chicken crisp from Walker's flavour, but with lemon and spices. Mm. Yeah, they're really quite good. Haha. -ha. So thank you, Ryan. <clears throat> oh, they're spicy. Thank you very much, Ryan, for the experience. I'm in a bit of a situation where my middle child's doing A-levels, my young youngest child's doing GCSEs. So I'm still in that kind of dad mode phase of my life. And I'm loving it. Of course I'm loving it. I really am. I'm enjoying... My kids are doing really well in school. They're, they're, they're really kind of pushing the boundaries of school. I like that. Um, but when they're done and they go to uni or whatever they choose to do, fly the nest, I, I fully intend to go to places like Shanghai, China, Japan, Thailand, 
Australia, New Zealand, all over, all over the blooming world. I plan to travel everywhere. You know, the anchor, the anchor will be fully pulled up on Wales and we'll kind of set sail to pastures new. Um, but until then, I very much like trying the world foods that get sent my way. The beer, I want to see you. Grapefruits, tea, sour IPA, fantastic. 4% ABV, 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. But these sour hot lemon chicken crisps are brilliant. They're absolutely brilliant. They're fantastic. They're different. I've never even ever thought of kind of eating a chicken's foot, but uh, I mean, I, I've just eaten a crisp, haven't I? So I can't say that I've kind of crossed that line yet. But uh, the crisps are good. They're, they're pretty decent. They're an 8 out of 10 also. Thank you very much, Ryan, for sending the beer and food. We got one more pack of crisps and a beer to get through from you. Thank you for sending. Um, but please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.